Vallejo Behavioral Health and the Topeka Rescue Mission are partnering with other groups to launch the Mobile Access Partnership, helping people right here in our community. Joining us live to tell us more about it, Bill Persinger with Vallejo. Bill, good morning. Good morning. Glad to be here. Thank you for having us on. Oh, thanks for being with us. Well, let's start with what exactly Pleasure. is the Mobile Access Partnership? Well, Mobile Access Partnership, or MAP for short, is um, a mobile continuum of care uh, services that will be uh, aimed at uh, individuals who are uh, unsheltered and homeless uh, here in Topeka or, or on the streets and otherwise at risk. But the first leg of the partnership is a mobile shower, laundry, and bathroom facility that will be available three or four days a week at various uh, church parking lots uh, around the county, our, our faith-based partners being those area churches as well as the rescue mission uh, here in Topeka. Barry Feeker and, and Mark DeGroff and, and the crew there have uh, partnered up with Vallejo and, and the uh, Topeka Police Department and uh, Stormont Vale Health. So what we're all putting together, uh, unit by unit, trailer by trailer, uh, vehicle by vehicle, is a mobile continuum of care. Now the first leg, the first vehicle to be deployed, which will be uh, sometime uh, this spring, early summer, is the shower, laundry, and restroom facility. Um, and it is, uh, will be owned and operated by Vallejo, but in partnership with the, those other, those other um, uh, providers who will be uh, gathering at various points around town to provide uh, food and uh, clothing and access to primary health care and uh, access to mental health, behavioral health services. And so we use the opportunity of a clothing trailer, a food trailer, uh, the Vallejo shower trailer, uh, Stromont Vale's uh, primary care uh, vehicle as a way to engage people who are unsheltered and homeless, who are otherwise at risk and on the street, who need a hand up, who, who need you know, uh, some of the services that we can provide to help them get a job, find a house, reunite with family, improve their health care, improve their mental health. Um, and so we see this as just a way of, of kind of gathering together with our partners and, and serving folks and helping improve the health and the well-being of our community. Well, it sounds like this partnership is going to be a great resource for our community. How will folks who want to take advantage of that resource, how will they know where it's located? So we've got a plan for uh, you know transportation, uh, helping people gain access. There'll be lots of information put out there to those who are unsheltered. And of course, we want folks to know that we're working on the street every day uh, through uh, mental health services uh, with our partners, the Rescue Mission and the Behavioral Health Unit from the Topeka Police Department and uh, other providers who are helping uh, folks who are unsheltered. So, you know, we, we know a lot of the individuals and, and we know where they are, we know what their needs are. So we have a plan to help them get the word around and spread the words so that they'll know where to come, when, and when the facilities will be operational. So uh, through that contact that they have every day with our with community policing, with our social workers from Vallejo who are on the street, with the street outreach team, the street reach team from the rescue mission, we'll have a network of communication with those individuals, uh, some of it electronic, uh, some of it verbal. Uh, and face-to-face, uh, uh, -face. Face. and so um, we'll set up a system where folks uh, know where to go. All right, Bill Persinger with Vallejo Behavioral Health, thank you for your time today.